Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn what is the max length of SQL statement or statements those we can use in execute SQL task editor. If there is some limit on SQL statement or statements size, what is the alternative solution? So it's very common we use or write update statements, delete statements, cursors, merge and selects and we want to run them in execute SQL task. And sometimes there are situations those statements are really big and uh, we have uh, pages and pages of those uh, SQL statements. Now on the solution side, uh, what we are going to do? We will perform a demo and check the max length of uh, SQL uh, statements uh, that can be used uh, in uh, execute SQL task editor. And uh, next, uh, if there is a situation, uh, there is a limit uh, that we cannot use uh, uh, beyond those uh, uh, SQL statement size uh, what is the alternative solution so what we can do if uh, you have a lot of SQL statements and uh, we are not able to put uh, that in execute SQL task uh, editor we can uh, convert them to the store procedure and then call that store procedure in uh, execute SQL task so that's the solution but first of all we have to find the max length of SQL queries or statements that we can put in a execute SQL task now open SSMS and build some SQL statements so what I'm gonna do here I'm going to let's say it's just uh, for demo so we don't have to worry are the updates or delete or whatever so in our case uh, let's consider uh, if I select top uh, uh, thousand uh, rows uh, from DBO customer table and I'm going to do one thing I'm going to copy and paste uh, these statements a uh, few times uh, so we, we have uh, some statements together and if you are interested, uh, you can take uh, maybe a statement from other, doesn't really matter. In, in our scenario or demo, what we are trying to do, we are trying to replicate these uh, to build a bigger uh, SQL statement. So uh, I'm copying and pasting. Uh, and here, now we can see that uh, we have a uh, line uh, 369. Uh, so there are tons of uh, 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 statements now and uh, let's uh, paste them a couple more time now I pasted them I copied the whole lot of statements one more time and I'm pasting them so you can see every time I'm pasting them so the number of lines are increasing okay now we have this big SQL statements uh, here we are going to open a new package let's open a new package or create a new package and uh, you can rename if you want it so you can right click here sorry just click here and say uh, execute SQL task editor now bring the execute SQL task on the control flow pan double click and then uh, make a connection in our case let's say we are using OLADB connection and uh, here I will be making a connection uh, to the test database so I made that here I'm going to use uh, my SQL statement uh, or statements whatever I have here we have uh, enter SQL uh, query and uh, this is the editor I'm talking about so now we are gonna go here and copy and we, we, we select with the control A we select everything then we copy we can copy with control C and then bring it here and we can say control V or paste so as you see the last uh, character in my statement is uh, select from uh, this uh, DBO customer underscore EU but when we are here in the um, execute SQL uh, task editor it is uh, chopping that out so there is some limitation it is not printing the entire thing so what I can do I can go here and then uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to select uh, all of the records so I can uh, 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 sh hit a uh, shift and pay down to select them quickly because there is no control a and then uh, I got all of them whatever the queries uh, I put it here so I'm gonna copy them 
take it back we can uh, hit ok if you want and then hit ok now take them to the new query and paste it here and what we want to do we want to get the length of this uh, query so I'm gonna use the length function len and then here go at the end and then put uh, the single quote and parenthesis so if I run now what we get these many characters uh, we can use in SQL statements uh, in the execute SQL uh, uh, task editor so 32,767 uh, characters uh, can be used uh, in the execute SQL uh, um, task uh, SQL statement or uh, SQL um, I will I, I call this one editor because that's where you are writing your query and all so whatever you like to call so in this query there is some limitation so when you paste these queries here there is limitation you cannot put more than 32,767 characters in this editor so what are our alternatives one thing let's say if we have the same thing and we can say create procedure as uh, sorry, and we give the name let's say get uh, customer EU and then we say as and begin and then here whatever the queries we have uh, you can see all those queries are here there could be possibility uh, we have done uh, some uh, errors and all so all those queries are here while I was pasting it there there could be scenario where I pasted wrong keyword or something but here you can paste all of them and then say end so now you're all uh, the queries are in the store procedure and you can run this store procedure simply inside uh, the execute SQL task so here you will remove the entire thing uh, and then uh, you will just say exec and uh, your store procedure name so you that's the way you will be converting your big SQL statements uh, into a store procedure and call in uh, execute SQL uh, task one thing I would like to tell if uh, you are using the SQL statements here so there are some disadvantages actually by using the SQL statements here let's say tomorrow your SQL statement uh, uh, need to be updated what happened you have to open the SSIS package change the query and save it and then redeploy from QA and UAT and then finally go to production in this case uh, uh, you have to involve with SSIS deployments and all that if uh, you are making changes or using a store procedure here you will be still going through the deployment process uh, but you will be making the change to the only store procedure as you are running that store procedure in dev so it will be quite easy to deploy the store procedure as compared to the making changes in the package and uh, deploying the SSIS package and uh, thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video